This is an incredibly quick review of the Infrared or X Infrared P2 Pro. Uh, they sent me this, so I'm marking this as sponsored. Uh, but they sent me it because at CES this year I was talking to one of their reps and talking to them about how my current thermal imaging stuff is kind of less than ideal and I need to look at circuit design sometimes. So um, the party trick of this is it's tiny and it has this magnetically attachable uh, lens cover that is a macro lens. So you can look really close at circuits, which is the main reason I wanted to use it to see like little parts of Raspberry Pis and all, all sorts of small electronics. Uh, but it has, uh, it, it's simple. It comes, from, I think there's an Android version with USB-C and I have the iPhone version with lightning, although the new iPhones have USB-C. But the, the, one of the big downsides to it, I think, is the software. They have this th software called Thermal P2 or P2 Thermal, and uh, you plug in the camera, and uh, if I remove the cover, that would help. Uh, so that is without this little macro lens on it, and it's, it's pretty darn good. Um, you know, I, I don't have any professional temperature calibration things, but it's pretty close within a degree or two Celsius of everything I've, I've known the temperature of. And uh, you can see I have a Raspberry Pi 5 running here, and it gives you the normal kind of controls for what kind of color palettes it has. Uh, red, I think, well, this is like white hot. Um, all these different color palettes. This one might be black hot and then white hot. Uh, and if you look around, the, the temperature gradient is pretty good on it. If I look at different parts of my uh, studio, I can see over there there's the part of my desk underneath where the controls are. These are both standing desks, and you can see this one is a little hot there. And this is hot where I hold my hand when I'm using the, the trackpad. Uh, and this is a little warm because I was touching it. Uh, and it's even if I put my hand down, it's pretty sensitive. So. Uh, pretty good in terms of, of the uh, thermals and the frame rate is the other reason I like this a lot. Uh, it's, I think, 25 hertz. I, you'll have to look at the specs online. Uh, but it, it's pretty good. The, th the main reason I wanted to test this one, though, is if you get in really close, you can see things get a little blurry. And uh, that's not helpful when you're trying to see an individual circuit that's bad. So if I pop this cover off, and then... That just magnets on there. You can see it's a little blurry now if I'm looking at other things. That's because this is macro. But now I can get right in there and see individual circuits. And of course, you still have uh, problems if, if your device is shiny and reflective. You won't be able to see it. But uh, you can see that I, I can get in and see little details very close up and uh, see individual resistors. So yeah, that's it. You can record video clips. The I think, like, let's see here. If I... If I take a capture, I'll pop that off. If I take a capture, there's photo, and I'll allow while using the app. I don't know why it needs my location. Uh, and then video, I can do a video here, and it's recording, and it records the clips okay. Uh, the gallery is not unbelievable. Uh, it also doesn't do, you can see it's not rotating the image properly if I hold the camera like this or that. Uh, so the, the app leaves some things to be desired, but it's functional. It, it works, and I haven't had any real problems with it. I do notice that uh, I have some of their other cameras, too, to test, and they have Thermal P2. They have another app for one of the other cameras, and then they have X-Infrared. I think they might be consolidating everything to X-Infrared. I hope they are, because it'd be nice to have one app that they focus all their development effort on, because this app is just not amazing. It's not, not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Uh, anyway... That's my review of the P2 Pro. I was not paid anything for this. They had no input into what I said. It was just off the cuff. That's why I have this uh, second channel, Level 2 Jeff. And I hope that you'll uh, subscribe if you liked this because I'll do other videos like this, just impromptu, off the cuff, uh, no scripting, no, no real editing. And that's all. See you next time.